headlines. One of their main uses is to intrigue the audience so they read the article. For this reason, journalists can infuse their headlines with elements of drama and sensationalism. Check out this CNN article. Ebola in the air, a nightmare that could happen. This heading is sure to attract clicks. But the experts quoted in the story actually state that the chances of the Ebola virus mutating to become airborne are very, very small. So the headline could have said instead, for example, Ebola in the air, unlikely experts say. Social media is an ideal breeding ground for manipulation. The user is very likely to scroll through their timeline and only read the headlines, never knowing what other information the articles contain. Scientists in the US analyzed 2.8 million retweets and discovered that 59% of people share links on Twitter without ever clicking on them. It was perhaps best demonstrated by the Science Post, a satirical news outlet that published an article titled Study, 70% of Facebook users only read the headline of science stories before commenting. The first paragraph of it is written in English, but the rest of it is filled with dummy text with no meaning, often used by graphic designers as placeholder to visualize the layout of a document. The story has been shared more than 122,000 times. This shows that a headline can make or break a story. Many media outlets add words like breaking news or shocking, even when the news story is not that urgent. This is called clickbaiting. It is done to get your attention, make you click on the link or share the story. A large part of online media's revenue comes from advertising. The more traffic news sites have on their websites, the more advertisers will want to place their ads there. More visitors also mean that outlets can charge more for ad placement. Another thing that draws our attention is photos and videos. A photo might trick us into believing that we were seeing undeniable evidence, but this is not always the case. More than half a million users in the Baltics saw a Facebook post claiming that a car carrying a packages from AliExpress was looted on the roadside in Latvia. People in the comments section were outraged that they hadn't been notified about the incident and might not get their shipments. But they didn't realize that they were being tricked, as Estonian journalists discovered. The photos were taken from a Dutch user's Facebook page, who posted about an incident like this in Belgium. In order not to fall for fake photos, you should always think about what the photo really depicts when it was actually captured and the angle from which the photo is taken. Don't take captions on social media as evidence. You will learn more about how to verify images further in the course.